Alright, it's like uh, 8.20. It's early for me. I've got about three hours of sleep. But I'm going to try to go catch some fish. Just chilling with my kitty. Hey. I just don't want to catch any catfish. Get it? Get it? But yeah, thanks for watching. Alright, just got out to a new area. I haven't fished in a long time in this spot. So I'm feeling it. We'll see how long that lasts, but I'm taking the spinner, putting a white swimming mullet gulp, four inch, on a quarter ounce jig head. I wish I had a lighter jig head because they just like a little lighter jig head. And uh it's money. See if I can pick up some flounder out here, mate. Maybe. Flounder's favorite color is white, in my opinion. Oops. Sorry about the camera. So I got a good feeling. I feel like I am definitely gonna get some action. There's not a boat out here, which is odd. There's a million launches. Ooh, this thing vibrates good. It's a good blade. I forgot the name of these uh, spinners, but I just bought them from Walmart. Ugh, it's in a green and yellow pack, I want to say. I'll find the name out, man. These things are heavy duty. Uh, that was a weird, that was like a boop, boop, boop. Weird hit. Nothing worthwhile. Got something absolutely weird. Looked like a tiny trout. And I'm talking like eight inches. Something. Man, what is that? A little bitty red. Smallest red I've caught in a long time. I almost thought I was bumping like oyster shells. It was such a, every cast I'm getting like, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's weird hits. Why well, it should be a bunch of little reds? Might've been a little red the first one I hooked. one what the heck is this a, another one wow i have never seen such little reds hey good population huh he'll grow up hopefully make it to be a, a brute i don't think they really came yet like out here i don't think they popped up At least not on our side of the situation. It's gonna be on this point. It's gotta be. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, here comes one. There he is. Oh, trout. Trout love a spinner bait. This has been proven in my look at that. He ate it. Gotta get my camera angles down. 
You ate it, boy. Look at you. Look at you, little bitty skinny trout. Hey, it's action, right? Points are always your friend. I need a flounder. I need a flounder. If I don't get anything good within a few more minutes, you know, I'm gonna fish it a little bit. I'm gonna move to a new area or move somewhere down the shoreline. I gotta see. It's early for me. I wanted to you know, maybe capitalize on some early morning stuff, but we'll see. I'm gonna turn this camera off, save some battery, you know, that whole thing. And um, we'll see, see if I can figure out where some good fish are. Cause as much as I like, you know, micro reds and trout, I prefer some bigger fish. I'd appreciate you guys. I'll get back with you. Got me a little red, fellas. A couple minutes later, he's little. It's all right. Got to find his grandma. Grandma. Get some light on him. Pretty little red. He's right over here. had a big fish come up behind me and and so it looked like finger mullet coming blew up you know he blew up on him and uh i threw right on him didn't get him to bite it i don't know what it was kind of reminded me you know how them spanish mackerel like go through bait like just they just go through them crazy that's what it reminded me of but i don't know what it was little red coming in if you guys like red red you're gonna love this this is shaping up to be an awesome video of rat red action with multiple spots. Look at those spots. They took my tail a long time ago, so I'm throwing this thing without a tail, but it works. There's not many fish here, and what's here seems to be little. I just kept casting. I kept telling myself one more cast. I'm, I've been trying to move on. The trout will hit the spinnerbait pretty good, believe it or not. I'm sure you, I'm sure quite a few of you know this. Some people don't expect it, but they do. When they're on the shoreline especially, they love the spinnerbait. I remember my dad caught one about seven and a half pounds on a spinner just like this, except for it wasn't a gulp. It was a uh, hybrid flurry, t uh, flurries, whatever they used to call them. And uh, he caught him on spinnerbait on the shoreline. That was in Louisiana, though. I got me one. I was giving up. Ooh, that's a. Is that a keeper? Might be a keeper. Yeah, hey, that's a keeper. Should I swing him? Oh, I left my net at home. Wow, I just realized that. I want to go reach for my net, it's not even there. He's barely hooked, I gotta be, be good with him. I'm lipping him. Ah, no I'm not. I'm trying to get the camera on his. You know what? Get in here. Man. The old tailless gulp strikes again. I'll say 19 and a half. I say, yeah, 19 and a half. Good stuff, good stuff. Finally got me a keeper. Nice little keeper red, 19 and a half inches on the old tailless gulp swimming mullet going in the box get these camera angles good one day but as of right now they're not good thanks for watching little red man been fishing for a, for a while now haven't really done much
pretty slow. Of course, they took my tail again. I went out on the shoreline again, took another couple casts, and they took my tail first cast. So screw it. They're too expensive to throw away. I gotta, I gotta uh, use it without the tail. But um, yeah, I just came to a new area trying. I just saw a guy catch a flounder, which is crazy. I fished a whole hot spot where I usually do pretty good for flounder and didn't get one. He caught them in some, they might be deep. I don't know if they're deeper or what, but he caught them in a deeper area. Usually they're up on that shoreline. But, you know. I might got my second keeper. I don't know. <sighs> man, oh man. Tough day, guys. Dang, I... I know he's gonna probably keep, maybe. I thought he was big when I hooked him. He looked big. He is. Uh, come on, fish. Straight out. I can't hold on to him right here. I always drop him. I'm trying to. Nope. 17 and a half incher. Another little one. Ah, shoot. Not a keeper. They're all the same size. Man, I can't buy a keeper, guys. Cannot buy a keeper. I thought I missed that fish. I pulled and when I set the hook, he was already at the boat. He ran at me so hard. Oh, finally. I was close to giving up. Man. I missed one in there. I don't think this was him because the first one I missed seemed little. But this is a good one. gold very pretty man that's a good one i like i like his colors a lot nice i like his colors a lot nice Whew, it's been slow i just been casting casting and casting with nothing through a matrix shad on the uh spinner he ate it. These fish just, I don't think they're feeding. I, don't, I think it's just a bad time. Tide's about to fall soon and we're just in that weird transition right now, but I think they're gonna bite. But man, that's a, that's a beauty. All right. That's two, two keepers. Looking pretty bad.
Dude, did you hear that fish hit it's in, in the marsh? marsh. They're, they're hitting in the marsh. I have, I have no idea how they even can get away with that. That's crazy. Oh, I just had a bite. There it is. Bass. Little. That's cool. Watch, I'm gonna turn this camera off and I'm gonna catch a fish. As soon as I do it, I, I'm telling you, I've learned the patterns of these fish. They know when a camera's on. Oh, oh, I watched the red eat it. I don't know how I missed them. Oh my gosh. I watched the bait go bye bye. How the heck did I miss that fish? It make you wonder, man, when they just suck the whole bait in and you set the hook and it just nothing. Slips right out of their mouth. Hello there. Little guy. I just want a redfish. I just want a redfish. Come on. About 37 hours later, I get this little one. Oh. God, is it just me or is his belly like super white? On the white chatterbait. Yeah, he's little though. Oh, guys. I'm struggling. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really, really tough time. Our tide just started falling not too long ago. Oh, yeah, I did take a little break. My dad got two treble hooks in his finger. He, uh, he had a top water and a topwater lure on and he i guess he set the hook for a fish and it flew out of the water and hit him right in the hand and he had two of them just buried one was out basically like one was in here and then out and then the other one was in here through all the way down so it was it was looking pretty pretty tender but i need to change this battery out it's about dead i'll be back Finally a bite. Oh, oh. Crushed it. Oh, I never put a battery in my other camera. So you guys can't see that hit. Oh.
he was fun now. Hey, he's a keeper. I make three. Yeah, I make three. I'm gonna put a battery in my other camera. <laughs>